this is a very very important and interesting problem of a motion of a projectile and the problem as a particle is launched at an angle alpha from a clip of height h above sea level if it falls into the sea at a distance capital d from the base of the clip prove that it is maximum height its maximum height above the sea level is h plus d square tan square alpha by 4 into h plus d tan alpha we have to prove this result okay here it is given that the angle of projection is alpha and it is projected from a clip of height h above the sea level right now we first draw the picture rough picture of this problem let this is sea level and this is the clip this is the clip of height h this is h and we project the particle from here like this at an angle alpha so we draw a horizontal line from this point let it be origin o right this is 0 0 and at that point the time is zero because this is the initial point now we take this is y axis this is origin this is x axis and since the clip of height h so we take this point as minus h comma zero okay and we name this point as o dash and the particle when falls into the sea let it be falls into the sea at a okay and o s a is the sea level or c this is the sea level or c and the distance from this point and a is equal to capital a this is given here it falls into the sea at a distance d from the base of the clip this is the base of the clip and it strike the sea at a so the distance is d that is o dash a this is equal to d it is given now at any point p at time p let this is the tangent so at that point the force only act r mg downward direction okay this is negative force and let this is the greatest height attained by the particle so let it be h so the greatest height from the sea level is h plus capital h now we have to find h right let u be the initial velocity of projection and this angle is alpha it is given here now the initial velocity along x axis is u cos alpha and initial velocity along y axis is u sin alpha because you have two component along y axis and along x axis this is y axis now the equation of motion of this particle at any point p this is v is given by x double dot this is equal to 0 because this is there is no force along x axis but y double dot this is equal to minus g because there is only force downward direction which is mg so we cancel out m from from the both side now from this equation we get by multiplying both side 2y dot this is 2y dot into y double dot this is equal to minus g 2 into y dot and this is d 
dt of dy dt whole square and this is minus 2g dy dt right and integrating we get dy by dt whole square this is equal to minus 2gy plus a integrating constant this is c initially at o dy dt this is this is y dot y dot means u sin alpha okay and y this is zero because this is the origin at initially t equal to zero so we get c this is equal to u sin alpha whole square and we put the value of c here we get the relation as dy by dt whole square this is equal to minus 2 g y plus u square sin square alpha now for the greatest height when the particle be at let it be m the point of greatest height then y is h because this is x axis and this is y and in this case because of m is the m is the greatest or highest point of this particle then we must have dy dt this is equal to 0 at y equal to h we let already y equal to h then we get minus 2 g h this is equal to sorry this is 2 g h this is equal to u square sin square alpha so h equal to u square sin square alpha by 2 g this is the height h so the greatest height of the particle is capital H plus small h so we get greatest height is capital H plus small h that is capital H plus u square sin square alpha by 2g ok this is the greatest height let t be the required time taken by the particle from O to A clear and here the horizontal range is D this is given ok but there is no horizontal acceleration there is only horizontal velocity u cos alpha so to travel the horizontal distance d in time t with velocity u cos alpha we get the relation as d this is equal to u cos alpha into t because velocity into time this is equal to distance ok this is an important relation we name this relation as 1 and this relation is 2 now in that time t the particle start from o and particle go to the point a so the particle travel the vertical distance h ok here the distance is 0 and here the distance is h means here the distance is minus h ok so at time t at time t particle travel distance minus h and the force act on the particle is only gravitational force that is minus g ok so we get by the relation s equal to ut plus half ft square as this is minus h this is the distance traveled by the particle in time t and u u is the vertical velocity ok u is the vertical velocity this is initial velocity and this is u 
sin alpha and this is t the time is t here and this is also half g into t square and from 2 we find the value of t and we put the value of t here and get as h this is equal to minus u sin alpha into d by u cos alpha minus sorry this is plus half g into t square this is d square by u square cos square alpha ok and we get the relation as u u cancel out and this is tan alpha so we get h plus d tan alpha this is equal to g d square 6 square alpha by 2 u square ok so we get u square this is equal to g d square 6 square alpha by 2 into h plus d tan alpha this is the relation of u square now we put the value of u square in the relation 1 we get the maximum height of the particle as from 1 we get or 1 imply maximum height h plus sin square alpha sin square alpha by 2g sin square alpha by 2g into the value of u square from this relation we get g d square 6 square alpha by 2 into h plus d tan alpha and this is given by sin square alpha into sec alpha this is tan square alpha and g g cancel out so we get the relation h plus d d square tan square alpha by 4 into h plus d tan alpha h plus d tan alpha and this is our required result.